Hey guys, uh, I want to say thank you for waiting patiently. I know I haven't posted anything in all of June because we I have like a lot of going on. So I hope you understand. So by the time uh, this video is released, it is the end of June. So um, anyways, let's start the review. All right, time to bust this thing open and... Huh? Wait, how'd you get here? Who did this? Was it you? Look, I've already told you, Godzilla comes later, all right? How many times are you gonna keep doing this to me? Sorry I to see that, guys. Anyways, um, how's it going? It's Plastic Disaster here, and today we're gonna do a review of the High Grade Universal Century Guff Custom. You can see here, the Guff Custom is from this anime called Gundam the 8th MST, which is one of my favorite uh, Gundam OVAs of all time. And it's also probably the most realistic Gundam series of all time. Instead of like fancy space battles, it all takes place at Earth, and you see all these like mechs game damage and all. Definitely recommend to give the show a watch. I believe it's only like 12 or 13 episodes. It's also really great if you really want to get into Gundam. All right, time for me to stop praising the anime and let's get right into the box. Now, right here we have the Gov Custom doing the pose, recreating the scene for the anime, how it stands on top of the building, scanning around the area, taking out all the gun tanks, and the menacing pose of the Gov Custom himself. Now, the kit is made in 2010, and I'm pretty sure it still holds up. I heard some pretty good things about it. That's beside the box, we have the front and the rear view of the Gov Custom. We have some cool art right here, and the screenshot from the anime. Oh look, and the pilot himself, Norris Packer. Moving on to the other side of the box, we get to see the cool gimmicks, poses, and the accessories it uses. Opening the box, we are greeted with one, two, three, four bags, and the manual. Taking a look at the manual, here it is when it's all painted up right here. And if you look over here, here's all the information about the mobile suit. And taking a look inside, well, it looks like we're gonna be using all the parts except for a few polycaps. Our A is gonna be the multicolored one. We have like the dark blue here, the light blue, clear orange, and I believe it's either black or dark gray. Yeah, after looking at it again, it's more on the dark gray side. That's where all the uh, parts for the sword, the parts for torso, shield, uh, the side skirt armor, and the uh, wiring. Excuse me, I meant the cable parts. Runner B1 is gonna be the light blue armor stuff. Stuff for the uh, legs, shield, the head right here, and the shoulder. And we have Runner B2, which is gonna be a copy of this section right here. Now Runner C is gonna be where all the good stuff here because we have the parts for the mini gun that's gonna be attached to the shield. And the hand parts if you're gonna be posing the kit. Our D1 is gonna be another part for the uh, mini gun. And two E runners are gonna be the part for the joints for the uh, legs. And I believe these two right here is gonna be for the uh, shoulders. One big polycap runner. The flexible wire for the Gov Customs heat rod. And a very small sticker sheet. Now this is actually pretty nice. If you're planning to use these stickers, and it should be okay because it's applied to a flat surface anyways. As always, I'm not gonna be using this thing because I'm gonna be painting it anyways. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited to build the Gov Custom. All right, I'll see you guys right after the build. And this is what the Gov Custom way looks like all snapped together. And I gotta say, he looks really nice as out of box. Uh, some of you might be saying, hey, what about that SD Gundam you reviewed last time? You were kind of harsh on it. Well, the thing is, you gotta put some effort if you wanna make this thing look good. While well, this, well, this is a kind of different case. It's because the color separation on this thing actually looks pretty good. And just to be aware, if you're gonna cut this, yeah, you're gonna have to watch out these thumb marks right there. I mean, it's actually a kind of a common thing for dark plastic. So if you are gonna paint over it, so that's gonna hide the thumb marks. Before I start detailing it and uh, do some detail paint, let me show you some of the seam lines. There's gonna be one right behind the leg. If you look closely, if I just open up just a little bit, yes, that's a seam line. This, however, is kind of disguised as a pen line, so they can get away with that. And there's a seam line right up here on the shoulder. As for the thigh parts, well, 
this looks like a pan light, so that should be okay. Without further ado, I'll see you guys right after I finish working on it. Here is what the Gov Custom is gonna look like when it's all painted up and, oh man, I can't tell you how much I love this thing. I mean, you could say it's kind of a, a lazy modeler's paradise because you don't really have to do much detail painting in here. Let me show you. All you gotta do is you just have to paint the black or dark gray right here. There's two on each of these like side thrusters on the legs and the red inside the thrusters if you can see it closely. And if you want to, you can paint the eye red and the, and the weapon red too, which is right here. And I also went a little extra mile just to paint it silver. Now, it was all dark gray, but I just wanna make these details pop. And since I'm holding the accessories, let's start from there. First, we have the three barrel 35 millimeter machine gun, which you're gonna plug on this peg right here because he looks kind of off if you take it out. Next, you got the heat sword type D3, and the only part that's gonna be painted, or I painted, is gonna be like the handle right here and right here. Now, the whole bit handle, it's supposed to be blue, but I don't wanna risk it like last time because the, the paint will chip. Now, if you look closely, I know it's like in the wrong shade of blue, but hey, at least I painted and hopefully I won't be called the Jerry of uh, Gunpla Builders. Now, if you're a Rick and Morty fan, you know what I mean. For hand options, as you can see, we got the closed fist on the Gov Custom, and you have the weapon holding hands for the left and right, and the open palm hand for the right. The heat wire that you can plug on its left arm, and if you want to, you can do like crazy Spider-Man poses because this is like one of those uh, wires that you can bend it and pose it however you want. And last, but not least, the Gatling Shield. And man, this is one of the best accessories of this kit, in my opinion, hands down. Back of the shield was all blue, and if you wanna make it better, you can just paint the whole thing gray. And speaking of painting, I paint the gray right here, and the silver details just to make the Gatling gun pop more. Now, a few things I wanna show you about the shield. You can actually store the sword inside of it here and if you want to you can take out the gatling gun and this little gray detail right here and you just plug the shield right over here on the uh the three barrel gun and give it the uh the ms igloo look so going on to articulation let me just take the weapons off just to make it easier now the head is going to be on a double ball joint and if you take this head off, you can see, now this is on the little track right here. And if I take a toothpick, you can move the mono eye left or right. Shoulder pad is gonna be on a hinge and a slight rotation. Arm is on a ball joint. And speaking on that, as you look closely, there's gonna be like a, some sort of like locking mechanism and knowing the fact that the, the Gatling gun I showed you is gonna be a little heavy, and with that, that's gonna help a lot. Anyways, um, it's got the tight bicep swivel. Arm is gonna bend in a single joint of 90 degrees, and the wrist is on a ball joint. As for the waist, you're not gonna get a lot out of it due to the design and the hosing, but you do get like a little side to side, and it move up and down because it's on the ball joint. For the skirt, well, for the front, it's not gonna move anywhere. And for the sides, it's gonna move just a little bit. And of course, as a common high grade, this is a fixed position. The leg can move up that far, move back that far, thigh rotation. Then at the knee, it's double jointed, which gives you a little bit over 90, not too bad. And the ankle can move that far back that far and this is on the hinge right here this is on a ball joint so gives you a pretty nice pivot and the thruster is on a ball joint but they don't really do anything that much which is fine with me one more thing i forgot to show you about the three barrel this right here can move side to side and this little flap can move as well 
I'm going to show you how you can attach the Gatling gun on the GOF Custom. So it's going to be kind of tricky, so uh, bear with me, please. Well, I already went in and popped off the left closed fist hand so I can attach this bad boy in. And I already plug in the weapon holding hand for this. Like you saw earlier, you're going to need the, uh, the three barrel just to attach everything together. It's easy by plugging this in first and hopefully the ball joint will naturally slide into the uh, socket right here. Just like that. Huh. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. So I guess it's not really tricky. What the Guff Custom is going to look like on an action base stand and with the Gatling gun. Oh wow. I just really love how it looks. And I'm sure everyone's going to display it like this. To attach the heated wire. If you look closely right over here, you're going to have to remove this gray cap right here. Now I'm going to do it a little off camera so it could be a little bit easier for me. All right? So I finally got it removed. And please do not lose this. And you just got to take this heated wire and plug it into this hole right over here. Just like that. It may not be a Spider-Man whipping hand, but if you watch JoJo Part 3 or Reddit, it's a hermit purple pose. Okay, let's make this last pose a little more interesting. So I'm gonna need to take the sword right here. Take the weapon holding hand for the right. Interesting. Let's put him next to the EZ8. Man, the 8th MS Team fanboy in me is so happy to see this. And you know they look good together. Size comparison here is the Gov Custom right next to the standard size RX72 and the Gundam EZ8. I think from what I can tell, the scaling is just about right. It's just that, like in universe, the Gov Custom is like. 0.2 meters taller than the RX-72. And I forgot to say that the Guff Custom is kind of a bulky mobile suit. Now, I do have the regular Guff Revive. I'm gonna do a comparison, like, someday. So stay tuned for that. Let's wrap this up with my final thoughts. This kit, it's got really nice proportions, really great accessories, and really good color separation. And speaking of color separation, I forgot to show you the uh, translucent orange piece on the torso. If I turn on the lights, you can see it right over here. Now I know the articulation is lacking some areas, maybe because the kit is like 10 years old from the time of me uh, shooting this video. But I think me personally, this thing aged like fine wine. Now the other thing I forgot to tell you is that this thing is pretty detailed. And if you really want to make it pop a little more, you can go to the extra mile by giving him some silver dry brushing and it would look great. Well, even if you didn't want to, you can still do like some detail painting, panel light in and top coat it. It would still look great either way. And so I highly recommend this kit, whether you're a fan of Xeon suits or a fan of 8th MS team, or you just love the realistic approach it takes. Maybe you just like the Gatling gun and you gotta Kit bash it to another kit or something. Hey, as always, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Well. And if you already have this kit, please comment and tell me about your experience. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Patience, my friend, he will come to you.